Hey, what's up guys? This is Fula with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. Now, as I drive on this gloomy Friday, uh, I got a like alert basically on this article on in Complex Magazine about Earl Spence. I mean, it just basically broke down his whole his whole get down, his whole angle and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Uh, you know, you know, I, and, and this is a, and this is a, this is a fair warning. Okay. And I'm trying to work on it. Okay. I'm really trying to work on this, but I have a little bit of bias towards Errol Spence because of stylistically he's a fighter that really appeals to me and also he's a fighter that has a has a demeanor that is like basically the demeanor you need and and many times in my uh sport endeavors it is rubbed off on my me so that's why i mess with um earl spence or a couple of the reasons but with that being said, I will try to keep it as neutral as possible, okay? Um, now, um, you know, he has some interesting things to say, basically. Like, he talked about um, how his dad, you know, was the one who just pretty much uh, kept him boxing. Like, there was a point in time where, you know, he didn't really want to continue the sport and so his dad was like you know you're going to continue because if you give up on this then you'll give up on everything else so his dad kind of pushed him to continue you know and I believe at the time you know Earl Spence he was playing football too and he just decided that you know it was it that you know boxing would be it and his dad kept him in it you know his dad, I mean, Earl Spence, you know, he very well could have just said, you know, forget this, you know, I'm, I'm through, you know, I, I'd rather not box anymore, man, but, um, you know, his dad kept him going. Now, another thing I want to say about Earl Spence is, um, you know, Lennox Lewis had some very high words to say about Earl Spence, you know, talking about that persona that you know he does the talking in the ring he doesn't really need to talk outside the ring um so you know with that being said um what i have to say about that is uh he's right and i'm 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 just gonna be real with you man like there are people who talk and who can back it up i i respect the crap out of them if they can talk and they end up uh every word that they say it ends with an action you know i can respect that a lot now um where else where um and that's the way i like you know that's the way i like to be like um well actually i'm the opposite i like to say less and do more you know, but, you know, and Earl, and Earl Spence is kind of like the same way, you know, he just pretty much says, like says very little and then does a lot, you know, when it comes down to it. Now, one thing that's, uh, that, and I've been trying to stress this point too, because some, some guys, you know, some people compare Earl Spence to Triple G. Like some people actually say that Earl Spence has a similar style to Triple G and you know it, he he is like he doesn't like that you know because he's so much more than Triple G and even um and even Lennox Lewis has said that you know he's a very technically sound fighter who can do everything you know, and this is what he said in the um, in the um, article. You know, 
Um, and the thing is about that, this is the thing. And I've been saying this in many videos. Just because Errol Spence doesn't do a certain thing that you attribute with different fighters doesn't mean he can't do it. The fact of the matter is, maybe he doesn't need to do it. You know, I remember um, I remember when he said, like, because people were asking him, okay, well, what do you think about Terrence Crawford? He can switch hit, this, that, and the other. He said, that's cool and all, but I don't need to do it. You know, these were his words. Okay? And so, he doesn't like being just called a brawler. The thing is, is this. With Earl Spence, man, he can counter punch. With Earl Spence, he can box. It's just that the most effective thing that he... The most effective thing for him has been... Uh, strategically breaking an opponent down you know unfortunately I'm just going to keep it a buck he hasn't fought by opposition that has made him think of another strategy to do otherwise that's the whole problem you know if he had that opposition maybe he wouldn't go to the body all the time maybe he would just pot shot you know who knows we don't know. Let's hope that he gets that guy to bring it out of him, though. Okay? Another thing that he said that was interesting. Now, he said he wants to follow the Floyd Mayweather model of uh, being like a pay-per-view guy. You know, he said he wants to follow that route, you know. Um, but even... Lennox Lewis and even Earl Spence agree that he hasn't really arrived yet. You know, he said, yeah, I mean, these were the words that they said, man. They said that, you know, I, I haven't really arrived yet. Um, I, I still need to arrive. You know, I still haven't had my coming up party, my coming out party. And, and in many ways, he's right. You know, I mean, you, you only know of Earl Spence among, like, the hardcore boxing fans but if you ask someone like on the street or even ask someone who reads Sports Illustrated man that they're, they're gonna say no we don't know who Earl Spence is you know so that's just the reality you know he's still not a household name therefore you know he still has to do more to become that pay-per-view star you know he still has to do more for guys to be like, you know, maybe I will get beat, maybe I will get like, like starched, but since Earl Spence, hey, since fighting Earl Spence is gonna be a big payday, I'm gonna do it, you know, and I'm gonna be on pay per view as well. And I mean, at, at this point, like the guy who who has that void, but we can't even call him a pay-per-view star anymore it's Canelo you know that's the only guy who is a, the big money man at the time really you know um you know um one thing I found interesting you know because uh, and, I'll, and I've touched on this before like the media like like the media tour and, and you guys can be mad at me if you want and you guys can you guys can do you know, all of you little trolls can do whatever you want. I don't care, okay? But one thing that I can say that I truly agree with, with Spitz, is that the media will try to bait you in to, um, the media will try to bait you in in order to vilify you. For example, and this has to do with black fighters and black athletes in general. For example, Earl Spence has said that, you know, um, that he gets flack for not talking enough. He gets flack for not like being loud, being boisterous, 
and selling the fight in that way. He gets a lot of flack for that. But he said that guys like Lomachenko and guys like Triple G, they can be mute and they're not going to get any flack. They're the best thing. They're, they're the best thing since apple pie, you know, even if they're not so vocal as other fighters are. But the moment a black fighter gets vocal, a moment a black fighter voices an unpopular opinion, a la Deontay Wilder, he's vilified by all kinds of press for doing, for doing the thing they told him to do. That's how it really works most of the time. And so, but but you're not telling Triple G to do it. You're not telling Lomachenko to do that. You're not telling Usyk to do that. So, yeah, he's absolutely right about that. I have to agree. Very, very, very correct. Now, Floyd Mayweather, of course, had to cloud chase a little bit, you know. He said that he wants what's very best for Spence. He wants what's good for him, this, that, and the other. That he wants to look out for his best interests at hand. And I was like, okay sure you do dude and because c- Floyd don't even look out for his own fighters Floyd don't even look out for Javanta Floyd don't even look out for um, who else I-, I-, I mean you have a couple of guys on the stable but as I said before you know my Nigerian uh, bro he left uh, he left Mayweather promotions and I asked him like yo why'd you leave Mayweather promotions man he said, um, he said, no comment, you know, that's what he said, he just said, no comment, man, and I said, okay, fair enough, I'm not about to, um, I'm not about to, like, try to, like, press you about it, so I just said, okay, but anyhow, and he's like, and, and then Floyd said he needs a promoter, this, that, and the other, my thing is this, Earl is his own promoter, man. So why are you trying to even push this narrative, man? He already had man down promotions. So why are you trying to like uh why why are you trying to like do that, man? For real. Let the man be his own uh boss. Al Heyman puts guys in position to do that. You did it. So just let him do it. Now, in the interview, there were some interesting comments, and I'm going to try to play, I'm going to try to be mutual on these comments, but um, but when asked about a Terrence Crawford fight, Earl Spence, he basically belittled. And well, I guess yeah, you can you can kind of say he did belittle him in a little bit, in a little way. Um, and he he basically said like um, he he basically said that you know um, he, he he said that you know a, a Terrence Crawford fight is um, not bigger. It's not like a Pacquiao Mayweather fight. And that, um, you know, Terrence Crawford himself is not, uh, that a Terrence Crawford fight is is not bigger than the Manny Pacquiao or a Keith Thurman fight. You know, these were his words. In a way, I can, I can like agree, but in a way I disagree. And here's where I agree. Again, we have to ask the question, what has Terrence Crawford did at welterweight? Really and truly. Like, what has he did at welterweight? You know, what has he really done 
honestly at welterweight to make him be the man in the division. I'm just going to be funky. I'm keeping it 100% funky. All right. Please let me know what has he done at welterweight to really be the man. All right. Lower weight classes, you know he uh, is undisputed in lower weight classes. I understand that completely. But at welterweight, let me know. Let me know who he's fought. That's worth noting. And please don't say Jeff Horn. Or please don't say Benavidez. Now, here's where I disagree with it. If promoted the right way, if it was promoted correctly, that could be a big fight. It could be a big fight like a, a, a like like a pay-per-view super fight if promoted in the correct way. All right. Also, it could be a bigger fight if there were more belts on the line. And that's what he was alluding to. That's what he was alluding to. That, you know, as soon as he, if he fights like Manny, if he likes, uh, if he fights uh, No Smoke Time Sean Porter, or if he fights Keith Once Upon a Time Thurman, then he'll go see Terrence Crawford. But the problem is, this is the whole problem with that logic. You know, this is the main problem that we have to face with that logic. Are those guys really going to fight him? Besides Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Manny, Manny Pacquiao said he wants that work. You know, so, you know, the fact that he says that, I think he will fight him. Alright? But, will the other two fight him? Because, um, Keith Thurman talking about fighting him in 2020. But then, you know what, man? I want to say this too, man. As much as I like Earl Spence, um, in a way, I'm going to say it is a little bit hypocritical because he said um, he laughed at Keith Thurman when he, when he, um, when he said um, that he would uh, fight Earl Spence in 2020. Uh, um, he... Uh, Earl Spence laugh, right? But then in the same, in, in this article, he said he would fight um, Terrence Crawford in 2020. So in a way, it is kind of hypocritical. But I think you know, with him, he he will actually fight. You know, he's not just like blowing air. We got to look at Keith Once Upon a Time Thurman's patterns. You know, and those patterns involve just blowing hot air. Earl Spence, though, I think he would deliver on the promise, man. Well, it's not even a promise, but I think Earl Spence would deliver on, on his words, you know. That's what I think personally. But, you know, man, that was a good interview, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed uh, reading that interview, man. I was actually surprised that, like, you know, um, that, uh, you know, that Complex would even do that interview. You know, I it, it it really surprised me, man. But you know, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, leave your thoughts and leave your comments. Again, this is a disclaimer because a lot of you bud fanboys come on here and troll and say things like "get the f out of here" and stuff like that. Nobody hates Bud Crawford, man. He did, he's a hell of a fighter, and he did some great things in the in the um, lower divisions undisputed in the lower divisions which is very very rare okay to have someone undisputed it's very rare well all I'm saying it's just that welterweight like that song like like that song that Jay-Z has show me what you got that's it I mean with where Earl Spence he hasn't really been able to show what he has because Nobody wants to fight him. 
I think there are people who want to fight Terrence Crawford. But what I also think is Master Aram doesn't want people to fight Terrence Crawford. I mean, especially that one fake Danny Garcia offer. That was a fake Danny Garcia offer. They never offered him. Okay? And that's just my opinion. You can take it how you want to. Maybe it's not politically correct, but that's just my thoughts on the whole situation. Leave your thoughts and leave your comments. Pretty soon, we're going to have this show uh, on the Google Hangouts. I'm just still uh, working on the blueprint for it. And we're going to have the Fula, the Fula Effect Show. And we're going to talk this boxing, talk these other sports like track and field and soccer. And we also going to talk um, some, some social issues too. But we got to keep it mild because I don't want my I don't want the feds taking pictures of me, you dig? But anyhow, if you want to be on the panel, I'm open to collaborating with anybody. So if you want to collab, don't be a stranger. Reach out to me, man. Let's 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 talk this boxing. That's all I got for now, guys.